Hi, this is Carla from What If NC, and this is the Art Jar Joy of Sharing Holiday Hop. I'm going to be creating some resin ornaments for this holiday hop, and you will be able to see others in the description that are also making other holiday related items. Um, here you'll see me mixing up some resin using mica powder, glitter, acrylic paint, and um, dye for resin and placing them into some molds that were purchased off of Amazon. If you like this video and want to see other videos that are really uh, unique, please feel free to, sh to hop on over to the other individuals in the Art Jewelry Sharing Hop. Right now you can see me filling the molds with the resin. This resin is an aluminolite resin. It's a quick dry, it's a four hour resin. And once I fill these molds, um, I'll move them to an area that is completely level so that uh, I don't have uneven uh, ornaments when I'm complete. Um, I put all of my molds on an acrylic uh, 12 by 12 piece of acrylic so that I can pick them up and move them without having to worry about picking up the edges of the mold, which is a little bit floppy. Um, so that's one of my hints for if you're going to try this, to at least put them on a board of some kind. And in my case, I put them on a piece of acrylic. It's orange. Um, and I cover that with um, so wax paper so that uh, nothing sticks to, to the board and I can clean it up easily. Um, right now, I've um, filled a couple of the ornaments. And as we watch, we'll see me fill up the rest of them. After I've completed them, they're going to have to dry before they can be unmolded. Uh, and then once they're unmolded, um, I'm going to decorate them uh, with either painting or using stencils uh, to add some additional decoration. If you hear snoring, it's my dog, and I apologize. <laughs> so a couple of the circle molds, I've made them thinking that I can um, either put people's initials on them uh, with uh, vinyl or other decorations. Uh, just kind of let my creativity flow with those. Uh, some of the shapes, you know, you're a little bit more limited to, to what you can do with them. But uh, when it's a plain shape like a circle, you can can do a lot, lots of different item items with that with that ornament shape. So, adding some more glitter to this one uh, for the the star. It's um, basically clear resin with um, a holographic. Um, glitter in it. So now I'll tell you this one right here. Um, I used two different colors of resin. I was kind of expecting that the resin would um, go through to the other side, uh, but in this case, uh, that one, it it really did not uh, go to the other side. So this is the next day. I'm actually um, taking the resin or the ornaments out of uh, the molds and showing you. That one has kind of like a periwinkle color, but it's real subtle. Really, really pretty in, in person. And I love this deer. The deer turned out really pretty. The one thing I will say is the silver glitter with the white mica, it had a little bit of a chemical reaction. So the deer actually ended up looking a little bit more yellow than the white I was expecting. And then the, the tree has a Merry Christmas uh, engraved in it, uh, part of the mold. 
Um, and then now you see me pointing, uh, this is a case where the resin overflowed into the hole, so the hole wasn't completely open. So I use an X-Acto knife to kind of clear off any edges. And there's a little edge on this one here as well. And I'm going to use the X-Acto knife to kind of trim that away. Um, there's many tools you can use. So there I'm showing using sandpaper. And then if that doesn't work, uh, you can always, if, um, if it's a large piece, you can just trim it away with a pair of scissors. And then I follow it up with a little bit of sandpaper to smooth that edge out a little bit. Once I've kind of cleaned it off, I will use um, paper towel, maybe some little alcohol to kind of wipe away any residue that may remain from the sanding. Yeah. I really like that red. It, it was translucent, um, but it, <clears throat> it looks really great when you apply something to it since you can see through it. I think on a tree with lights behind it, it would look really pretty. Um, there's a couple edges where I noticed uh, that, especially with the white, solid white um, dye, that I got a little air bubbles. And so there was a little holes on the front of my, um, of the snowman and the Santa. Little tiny dot holes and they were right on the edge. The uh, snowflake turned out really beautiful. And then I'm showing some ornaments that I made earlier where I had painted on them with acrylic paint. Right now I'm taking a chrome pen that I have that does a really shiny chrome. And I'm just filling in a few areas where there were little indentions in the mold, uh, kind of adding some accents to it. And filling in the star that's in the center of the snowflake. Uh, really adds a nice touch to it. On one of the clear red um, ornaments, I'm going to put some plaid on it, um, painting on black stripes to make a plaid. And I'll show you here in a few minutes why, why I'm doing that. I have uh, something specific in mind. And so I'm going to freehand the other side only because I don't want the tape to peel off the black paint. Once I've finished with the black paint, I'm going to just do a quick spray of, um, of, of a setting spray to kind of coat the uh, ornament so that I can apply something to it after. You could probably use other tools like, uh, like a matte media or... Um, glossy accents, something like that, or even another coat of epoxy would work, just something to coat it so that you don't peel it off when I apply the vinyl sticker I'm going to apply to it later on. And so on the on the deer, I decided to add eyes and a, and a little chrome nose. And then on the Christmas tree, since it was so hard to read the Merry Christmas, I used some black um, black acrylic paint. And I just filled them in and didn't really care if I was going over because I figured I could wipe off the the um, the other areas and it would stay in the areas that were um, embedded. So you could still see the Merry Christmas. So I've kind of cleaned it up. Now I'm applying my ornament. Uh, I'm sorry, my... Uh, my vinyl sticker onto this ornament. And this is why I actually made a cup for a friend uh, that is really into the holiday season. And so that's gonna go with the cup. Now I'm using a brand new stencil that I created. Um, it will be on my Etsy store, What If NC. Uh, I do make stencils and sell them. And this is a new one that I made that also is kind of a plaid print, but in a stencil form. And I just think those turned out really pretty with that stencil. I really like that stencil. Um, I had this stencil before in an ATC size, but I uh, enlarged it into a six by six stencil. Really has turned out to be one of my most favorite stencils. And now in this section, 
Um, I decided to paint on some trees using a little ATC size tree stencil that I have. I'm just going to pick out three trees. Um, I'm painting on right now with some green uh, acrylic paint and then I'm going to take a paintbrush to kind of uh, put some white snow on those trees. I'll cover that with some epoxy and you can see that's how it turned out. I really like it. Um, I really hope that you enjoyed watching me make some ornaments and uh, feel free to try with your own. It was a lot of fun.